Hey dudes, here's how to make arrows in Inkscape. Let's open Inkscape. So here we are in Inkscape. First, I'm gonna show you how to make a thick arrow. So I'm gonna go to the polygons tool. I'm gonna select the polygon, choose the corners to three, and I'm gonna control and drag to whatever direction I want the triangle to be. Cause right now we're creating a triangle. I'm gonna go here, maybe go to the right, just like the play button. Then I'm gonna duplicate this one, control D, then go and use the select tool and drag this right here and stretch, stretch like this, to make the arrow like that. But we could also duplicate the original triangle, control D, then go for the rectangle and create a rectangle there, like so. If you want to be more precise, you could turn on our snapping, which I usually do if I want to be more precise. So like this, right there. So it's uh, more centered, but of course these are still separate objects and you must combine them to make an actual uh, arrow for you. So let's select these, let's duplicate this though, and control plus. Now you have combined the shape of an arrow. As you can see, yep. It's a combined thing. Okay, let's set these aside. So next up is something more slimmer, but more flexible, if you might say. First, let's go to our Bezier Curves tool and draw a line. You could make it a straight line, curved line. I'm just gonna make it straight for now. Hold control and click and click. I'm just gonna delete this point there. Okay, let's make this a little shorter because it's a little uh, too long for me right now. Then, while your uh, line is selected, go to stroke style and go to the markers. This one would show you the, the pointers that you can use on the original or the first point you went to. And here is where the arrow is gonna come if it's on the second point. So my point is, when creating a line or curve, you usually start with the first point. That's the first point where you can choose one of the markers there. Then the second point is gonna be the destination point, which you also can put markers there too. I want to make this line maybe like this, as you can see that it has that arrow. I can also change this on the fly if I wanted to, make it like this to make it look awkward. Let's make the first end looking like an arrow head thing. Okay, let's choose this one. All right, now that looks way weird, right? So right now, this is just a line where you can manipulate and it will technically just be very flexible if you want something that is a little more fancy. So let's go to our node tool and you can actually modify this to be something more uh, weird if you wanted to. Maybe you want the arrows to be squirvy and swervy or something. There's also a variation where, which is a uh, way more manual, let's draw another line, click and let's go control click again double click and oops then let's make a triangle again so it's more manual so with this method you can literally add any kind of pointer you want even abraham lincoln yes even abraham lincoln but make sure that it's uh lock into place i'm gonna make sure it locks here now you can edit that more depending on your needs like this as you can see so that's how to make arrows in Inkscape. So anyways, dudes, I'm New Creator, and see you later. You can use these arrows and turn them red and put them in your YouTube thumbnails. Cause I'm pretty sure YouTube is full of red arrows everywhere. <laughs> oh boy, that is, ooh.